Oh, I want to say a brrrr. Yeah, we're doing this today. But here we go again with the the cold stuff. So it's been, I don't know, it's probably been a couple months since we've been in here metal detecting. And I figured now that it's this time of the year, I would come back and see if I could actually get into any of these spots. I think I'm actually gonna walk around and then kind of come back in this way. Either way, let's have a good day. Actually, I didn't walk very far. Jesus, that looks like a cellar hole. Looks like a lip. Well, let's get in there and look closer. Oh, thorns. Huh. That makes you wonder. I mean, realistically, it could just be a, a hole. Field stones. iron in it. Whoa. Actually, look at this. <laughs> kind of looks intentional. <laughs> this little square was logged in the last 10 years, one of the reasons why I haven't really been in here. And one of the reasons why this may be just junk. Square now. chunk of melted lead or pewter actually so that's interesting enough those two things good old New England weather I was in a t-shirt very comfortable yesterday and now I'm wearing layers and gloves which it's not gonna last long because it's not comfortable but it's freezing. Yeah. Well, it's an old relic. It's a shear off a cutting piece of equipment. So that's cool. Must not have been buried very much because it's actually in really good shape. Things already. Pottery. Yeah, more square nails. Wow. Mission accomplished. That is an early to mid 1800s button. Beautiful. And I think. We are sitting on a footprint, part of an old cellar hole. So not only did I walk by this about 10 times this year, I've been walking by it for probably 15 years. It's just, you can't tell unless you're out here in the right time of the year, the right season. And like I said, it had been logged, so it's, it's been a mess for a while. It's just not very distinguishable.
Oh yeah. No doubt. Wow, we just totally scored. Keep going back to your old places. Because you might be shocked. Just like I am right now. Literally, the, the old road is right there. 25 feet. And just a barely visible one side of the lip. And then this stuff. Thank you. Sorry, gotta put you guys in that stuff for a minute. That sounded like it was moving. Yeah. Willie. And that would be a liner from a pocket knife in between the, you know, the blades and the handles and everything else. Cool. Yep, under the root. Oh, there it is. Oh, that looks like a coin. And judging by the size, signal, and thickness, it's either an Indian or a flying eagle, but I see a headdress, I think. Yep, one cent. Bingo. Wow. Very, very awesome. Even after brushing it up, I cannot see a date, but being that it's thick like that, it's probably an early one. Excellent, excellent. Relics and a coin. <laughs> Junk metal. And we are actually right on the one left lip Brick stuff oh. excellent so right here on the lip in between all the roots, cufflinks, complete. Let's clean that up. Oh wow, wait till you see these. Oh cool, they have flowers on them. Geez, they're shiny. Let's try something here. 64, maybe they're tomback. One thing's for certain, I have never seen a pair of cufflinks like that. Excellent. Well, this is no doubt a remarkable find on my own turf. And to think this summer we came in up on the hill was where I found that Swedish silver coin. Last time we were here at the next cellar, I dug that eagle button, which was tough, because that's all I found. And here we are in one small acre. And the thing that gets me, and why I normally wouldn't have looked in this space, outside of it being a mess, the sites are usually a quarter mile apart. We're talking hundreds of feet. It's close. And one behind me. All right, I'm going to look around a little bit in here. Because we're definitely coming back in the next couple videos. Hopefully there's enough stuff here. But I just want to get a feel around the little yard here. Willie. Well, the bad news is it's flat.
flashing. The good news is there's actually a small section that wasn't logged. It's looking nice and clean too. Well, so far, it's safe to say this is a 1800 site. What we have found doesn't mean it doesn't go back older, but so far that's what we got. Iron square buckle. Cool. Well, I'm actually going to call it quits now because we're definitely coming back the next video. Hopefully we'll get a few out of it. Amazing find. And it's definitely going to take some work picking through here because it's it's thick. It was quieter away from where the house was, but awesome. And that's why you guys see me walking, looking, walking, looking day after day. Explore your world.